everyone, it's Dominique from Lunar Life Tarot. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have another collective reading for you all, all about what is the hottest gossip on you. I'm actually making this into a series on my channel, a monthly series. We can kind of check in on how you're doing, what's going on in your life, and what is happening behind the scenes for you, okay? Kind of like um, a progressive series where we can just track how your life is going and talk about how you're upgrading, okay? Um, so anyway, that being said, let's go ahead and get into the cards today. I've already prayed and shuffled over all the cards I'm going to use as per usual. I also just wanted to say um, happy Thanksgiving to all who celebrate. If you uh, hope you guys enjoyed your holiday. I definitely did. Thanks for being patient while I took some time off to film my family. Really appreciate you guys. I'm actually a little bit under the weather so um, hopefully you don't hear me like sniffle or things like that but if you do, um, sorry about that. <laughs> Please ignore that. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be taking things just a little bit slower today day because I am feeling a little under the weather but I still wanted to be able to get this hot goss uh, for you guys so let's go ahead and get into this reading okay starting at 11 11 actually uh, at least on my clock 1 11 all right so yeah what is the current gossip on my YouTube viewers divine source what is the current gossip about my YouTube viewers what are people saying about them what's going on in their lives currently interesting okay okay I think I'll take the cards upright today. Okay. And I came prepared. I brought my crystals just in case we had any uh, <laughs> scandalous cards. You know what I mean? You too. Okay. So we're starting out with the Six of Cups, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, and the World card. All right. So the gossip on you right now is that you're entering a new phase almost like with the new year, you have changed or grown a lot this year. This has been a theme in a lot of my readings lately. Um, people are noticing the ways that you've changed and grown, especially since last year, okay? You have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is a card about nostalgia, okay? Um, people are looking at you and they're thinking about the way that you've progressed and grown, especially since the last year, and even since you were a child, I'm getting a lot of family energy here. So for the holidays, maybe you guys had you know visited family. It depends on where you are in the world, of course. I know, for instance, Canada had their Thanksgiving like weeks ago. Um, but for instance, if you guys did see your family or friends that have known you for a long time recently, they are thinking about how you've changed and grown so much since they've met you or since you've been younger, okay? I'm getting the image of somebody who's going through like the different stages of life and they're getting taller and they're developing in different ways. People are thinking about this in terms of you and they feel like you've grown and changed a lot, but especially in 2024, okay? You've done a lot of growth and change in this, during this year. It's like you bloomed, okay? I'm getting the image of a flower in my head. It's like you blossomed to a whole new level, okay? And now you're becoming someone who's really balanced in knowing who you are, okay? People see you as being intelligent, straightforward, um, direct, and as in not only are you direct in your communication style, you become more direct, you become more, I guess, assertive over the years, but also that you have a sense of direction for your life, okay? It's like this queen of swords. People can tell that you're moving your life in a certain direction. You know exactly where you're looking. You know toward where your goals. It's like with that hand there. It's like they can tell that you're directing your life in a certain way. All right. You're coming across as very intelligent to a lot of people, much more logical than you have been in the past. Instead of logical, I like to say the word practical. OK, um, people are noticing that you become a lot more practical. You become a lot more stable and even just like more intelligent, even as the year has gone on. All right. I'm also picking up that for a lot of you. Your boss could be noticing that you have become really capable especially at your workload or in the workplace, okay? You guys could be getting some kind of recognition from a boss coming soon. It's like someone notices that you have been transforming, especially in your um, in your intellect, okay? It's like you've been really growing in your intellect. I'm also picking up with the bird imagery here. You become a lot more free this year. It's like you don't care as much what other people think about you, all right? You're probably just watching, watching this gossip reading because you know that they're usually about your progression, about your life's journey. It's, it's less about necessarily what people think of, of you and more of like a barometer of where you're at. So, but all that to say is you come across like you're very free, you're a free thinker and 
people can tell by the way that you speak that you reach this whole new level of intelligence lately. I'm also picking up that your communication skills could have improved recently, okay? Like you've gotten better at maybe like giving presentations or speaking in front of crowds. I'm also picking that picking up that your social skills have gotten better, like you've gotten smoother when talking to other people, okay? All of this culminates into people essentially saying that you have reached a new level lately. Okay, you've reached a new level lately. Some of you could also be um, in a relationship or dating somebody new. And people are saying that this is a really good match between you and this person. I can't deny that we have the the Queen and the King of Swords, which is definitely a pair here. So yeah, some of you guys could be entering into a new phase in your relationship, a higher level of commitment. Maybe you're just like seeing someone casually. Things are about to get more serious, like exclusive, or maybe you're already in a relationship with someone and you and you are thinking about engagement with that person. I'm kind of picking up on that as well. But for my single peeps, it's just more so like people to see that you're very balanced in yourself. Okay, let's keep going though. I want to get a few more cards from this deck and then we'll move forward. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll take this card in reverse. You have the nine of swords here. Yeah, people are just noticing how you're no longer in anxiety. You're no longer kind of have your alarms going off. They're actually sirens outside. Hold on a second. So some sirens just passed by an ambulance. I feel like that's really symbolic, though, for this topic of possible anxiety or just un general uneasiness that you were going through. People feel like you got into a really good place with managing, um, you know, if you had like mental ups and downs and things like that. Okay. People feel like you're kind of come out of that phase where you were having a lot of like, you know, trouble. Um, it, things were kind of difficult for you, maybe sleepless nights, again, anxiety, like, and it could be, it could be, you know, even more intense things, but people just feel like you have come out of this phase really, really nicely. You're no longer in that difficult phase of your life. At least they can't see that, so they're talking about when it comes to you. Yeah, oh my God, people are saying that you turn the nine of swords into the nine of cups, all right? You have moved out of a phase of difficulty into this phase of abundance, having what you want, wishes being fulfilled. I'm also picking up on the term, I turn my pain into power. That's what you guys are capable of doing. That's what you, that's what you have done this year. I'm winning that. People are really looking at the way that you've progressed this year and they're like, wow, this person has alchemized so much difficulty into their superpowers, okay? It's like you have taken a really hard time and been able to kind of squeeze the lesson out of it and integrate what you need to to make your life better. You don't just like accept things lying down. You're like, okay, how do I need to change? What, appro what approach do I need to change so I can get to the next level, okay? What, what habits do I need to shift? What do I need to shift my environment? Do I need to shift my friend group? Do I need to shift the way that I'm showing up in this situation so that I can get a different result? One thing about you is that you're not going to practice insanity, okay? You're not going to approach something the same exact way or do something the same exact way over and over again and getting bad results and expect something different to happen. You know that you're going to need to change your approach. You might need to change your environment. You might need to change up, you know, the people who are around, whatever it is, so that you can shift into a better space, okay? I'm also picking up that your spirit guides are really admiring this about you. They admire that you're not afraid of change. You embrace change. You understand that change is necessary, to get to where you need to go, okay? So let's continue on here. Let's keep talking about like what people are saying about you. And again, this is all what people are saying about you recently. I do wanna point out that as I was shuffling in your energy, at the bottom of the deck is the victory card here. So again, people are noticing that you're achieving a victory in your life. You have been overcoming obstacles all this year. I think it's kind of funny that I can towards the end of the year, you get almost like a year overview, okay? So that's what people are thinking about when it comes to you. It's like, oh, wow, you know, um, the OGs, that's my nickname for my subscribers. The OGs have been doing so well this year. They've been having victory after victory, and they have brought this forward from a time of difficulty as well. Like, it wasn't always that clear cut for them, okay? Next, we have the Magician and the Mirror coming out. Oh my God, guys, when it, when it comes to personal power, there is not a better card in the deck that could come out. I'm telling you, you are on fire right now. If you're watching this, you are on fire. Let's put the fire emoji down below, guys, because seriously, you are lighting it up. 
in your life right now. And there may still be some things that you want to fix and you want to change. That's totally fine. We understand that because, you know, you're someone with ambition. Absolutely. But can we take a second to think about how far you've come? And to think about how you never would have gotten this far if it weren't for your determination, for your persistence, and not just for motivation, because, you know, motivation, it can kind of come and go, but it's the discipline. It's the discipline. I think you guys have really learned a lot about discipline this year, okay? I'm just kind of getting that, you know? Um, And even like delayed gratification, just making sure that you're getting the things that you need to do done. And it's not about working against the current either, You know, it's just making sure that you're showing up for the things that you know are going to continue to push you ahead and continue to work in your favor, okay? So yeah, you guys have been really using your talents. You've been using your energy. um, You've been using your your mindset to help you to get ahead this year. That's what people are talking about. People are talking about how you have this way about you that brings about results. When you say you're going to do something, you do it. Okay. When you say that something is going to come into your life or, you know, you have this goal that you're going to set, it always comes about. It always comes about. It may take some time, but it always comes about. That's what people are talking about you. That's what they're saying. They're saying like, oh, wow, like the OG set this goal to move. They set this goal to get a new job. They set this goal to get a pet and they've been able to do all of those things. I really think from this reading so far, and I'm like, you guys know me, I'm, a, I try to be like a pretty strict reader, where I just tell you exactly what it feels on the cards. And of course, from my intuition as well, I'll never sugarcoat for you guys, like, I will tell you something is bad. But that's just on my collective, okay? I really feel that you guys are role models for the people around you, not to put pressure on you, not to put pressure on you. But I really feel like you are a natural role model for the people around you, they admire your discipline. They admire your persistence. They admire your willpower. Okay. They admire your ambition. And it's very, it's like tangible on you. Okay. You have this energy about you that is so attractive and alluring. And it's not just attractive physically, it's attractive metaphysically, you know, it's attractive energetically. And this is the perfect card to describe that as they came out and I just kind of put it to the side for a bit. This is the second chakra. Archangel Ariel, which represents the sacral chakra. Now, the sacral chakra is about creativity, vitality, energy. Do you see what I'm saying? See how all these things are really, really aligned here? Again, I'm telling you, your energy is on fire lately, okay? People can tell that your creativity has been off, like, off the roof. I'm actually surprised that the Queen of Wands didn't come out here. Because that's the kind of energy that you guys have lately. Passion, passion, passion. Passion that you're directing into practical use. I think you've gotten really, really good at using your bursts of energy to fuel your goals, okay? And kind of directing your energy to where you want it to go, okay? And also choosing projects that are going to yield the the most beneficial outcome for you, okay? That's what I'm picking up on. Hopefully those of you who have been doing that, you just kind of know what I'm saying there. Um, And guys, always, obviously always take a resonance and leave the rest. But yeah, people can tell that your energy has reached a whole new level lately. That's what they're talking about. They're like, wow, I've never seen this person so creative. I've never seen them so motivated. I've never seen them so like on their stuff. A lot of you are picking up that a lot of you could be going to the gym lately that may be helping you in some way um, just to get comfortable with like that, with, with like that go, go, go mentality. Now I'm not saying, I'm not really someone who's all about that like hustle culture, like grind forever, blah, blah. I think it's really important to balance work, rest and play, right? But you guys know how to push in all three, okay? You push hard at work. You rest real hard and then you play real hard. Okay. I love it. I love it. That's how you keep balance, right? So yeah, what else do we have here? Let's check out my white and yellow cards. Guys, these are, these are always so fun. Let's go ahead and find out what else people are saying about you. This is going to deviate a little bit, uh, away from like the motivational speak. Let's go ahead and see these might have like physical traits on them as well. Ooh, interesting. Okay, we have moveon.com. I'm not really worth your time. People are talking about how, again, especially this year, 
you've moved on from a lot of things that are no longer aligned with where you're going. Okay. You've left behind people and situations that just didn't really make sense for who you're becoming and what you're stepping into. Okay. I'm specifically picking up on romantic situations. People are commenting on how you never get caught up in a romance that doesn't work for you in a dynamic that doesn't work for you. You won't let yourself, you know what I mean? And if someone is kind of like confusing you or giving you like mixed signals or just like making it really awkward for you to even accept them in your life, it doesn't feel right, you always leave that behind. You don't let people cross your boundaries, all right? You'll just, you just leave it behind. What else do we have here? What else are people saying about my YouTube viewers lately? Oh, okay. Spicy. We have freaky deaky. This person wants to do kinky things with you. Oh, that's spicy. Okay. I mean, hey, people are looking at you and they're like, I want to do the do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. People are thinking that you're really hot lately. They're interested. <gasps> oh my gosh. We have dirty fantasies, 18 plus desires, all night, all positions uh, right after freaky deaky. Oh, a girl. <laughs> okay. Person. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. People watch you lately. Look, I'm not, I'm just the messenger. People watch you lately. All right. Um, they're interested. They're interested in you. And I really feel like it's a combination of this passionate energy because who doesn't love somebody who's so passionate and determined and like has a lust for life. That is so hot. Like be so for real guys. You know, you're so hot. If you haven't dropped that fire emoji yet, what are you waiting for? Cause you're, you know, <laughs> not the reading getting spicy. Um, but yes, people love your lust for life. They love your passion. They love that you're so motivated. It kind of makes sense that people would have fantasies about you because you're just that you're just that kind of person, you know what I mean? To fantasize over. What else is here? Okay, we also have money is about to double. <laughs> That's what people are saying about you. They're saying like, wow, it's only a matter of time before this person starts making some really big bank with what they're doing. I think they're already making a lot of money. So people are kind of like a little bit pocket watching you. They're very curious as to how much money you do make. Okay. Yeah. At the top of the deck, we do have damn your one bad bitch. Should I be saying that? <laughs> I always go back and forth on whether I should swear on my channel <laughs> all the time. All right. What is the gossip on them? Wow, we have this person wants to take things to the next level. Guys, I cannot make this up. People are saying you're taking your life to the next level. And they're very impressed. All right? Very impressed. I'm getting the uh, the trophy emoji in my mind. Okay? Yeah, people are just seeing you get win after win. For you, if you may feel like, oh, I'm just trying to, like, achieve my goals the best that I can. Like, it's not that serious, Lunar. But in other people's minds, <sighs> It's, it's just not the same. Like people don't, I really want to remind you guys that the way that you pursue goals in your life, it is special and it's rare. All right. Not everyone is going to feel this level of motivation. A lot of people are very comfortable with being stagnant, but not you. You're just not meant for that. Yeah. Your beauty is haunting. Wow. Yeah. My peeps are attractive. My peeps are attractive. I'm having dreams about you. Okay, so you can show up in some people's dreams lately. I have to take this one. I saw a flash. Destined for success. Yes, yeah, so those people are saying about you. They're saying that you're destined for success. And also, I can feel your energy. I'm thinking about you. What did I just say that your energy is palpable lately? It is palpable. Your passion and your intensity. I don't know what you guys have been doing, but it's like all of a sudden, you may have this like burst of inspiration, a burst of energy, or if you're watching this and this isn't quite aligning, this could be what's in your near future as well. Cause sometimes the timelines can be a little bit forward, can be a little bit backwards. So this could be about to come in for you. This big burst of positive energy and creativity for what you're doing. Okay. Not only that, wow. Person in red, alluring to all natural X appeal. Gotta be careful there. Magnetic aura and generous. Yeah. You guys have that natural appeal. You're alluring to all. And it's not just in a sensual way. It is in a way where you attract opportunities. Um, you attract blessings to you. You're, you're attractive in many different ways. Last one here, your physique is so sexy. Wow, underneath that, your eyes are intoxicating. Whew, I have to take that. 
that is wild. You're also looking very, very good lately. I feel like this energetic glow up that you've been going through is actually showing on the outside now. It's like you've had this inner to outer change. I'm going to pick it up that you guys may have noticed that your skin has gotten a lot better. Some of you actually look younger lately. Have you noticed that? Comment down below if you noticed that. Because I feel that for maybe quite a few of you, you've noticed that your skin looks better. Like you've noticed like your skin may look tighter or less dull and you could actually feel and look younger lately. Okay, let me know. So there's something to that, okay? I've been picking up on that. Yeah, your beauty is very haunting to people right now. It's almost like you have unlocked this new love for who you are. That's what I'm picking up on. You guys have unlocked a new level of self-love and it is shining out. It is shining out. I almost feel like some of you guys could have overcome an insecurity as well. You overcome an insecurity and now you're feeling much better about yourself. Guys, let me know if this resonates. Oh, and if you do like the video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, so now we're gonna get into a little bit of the behind the scenes drama. Like, is there any behind the scenes drama that you need to know about, okay? Okay, funny enough. Moving on, thank you, next. Always partying, interesting. I feel like you guys have moved away from partying a lot or you moved away from people who used to party a lot, okay? Interesting extra triggered okay someone could be extra triggered someone that you used to go to party with someone that you used to go to a lot of parties with that you moved on from could be triggered or this even be this, um, spirit is also saying this could be someone that you had went on dates with but this person was like maybe a little too into drinking something like that a player oh okay Dirt digging. Oh, this is so interesting. All right, this seems to be more about um, a romantic situation. Could possibly be a friend who you know is a player uh, on the side, okay? But anyway, what I'm picking up that, what I'm picking up on is there someone searching for information about you, wanting to find out what you're up to, wanting to find out how you're doing. This could be someone that kind of played you in a situation. Or it could be a friend that you were close to who you knew to be a player. You know what I mean? They didn't really take romantic situations very seriously. Especially if this is a guy friend that you were kind of like maybe on and off with. You know, someone someone of the gender that you date, right? Like a friend of the gender that you typically date that you guys may have had like a little bit of a flirtationship with. I'm also picking up on that, okay? This person is trying to like possibly look through your Instagram specifically because you have this camera here. Look through your Instagram or look at photos of you and trying to figure out like what you're up to lately. Someone is also trying to see if you are like posting for them or about them, but they can't, they can't find much. They can't find much on you. What's happening behind the scenes that they need to know about? I always get afraid that one of the cards is going to fall in the flame. <laughs> God forbid. Um, an offer and uninterested. Okay, so this person wants to offer you something, all right? This person wants to come back and say they want a conversation, all right? But you're going to be uninterested. Now, this could have already happened for some of you, or this is happening in the near future. Funny enough, I actually did a TikTok on the same topic uh, like a few weeks ago, just a little story. And I did one just about how someone's going to try to use the holidays as a way to get back in contact with you and be like, oh, hey, happy, happy Thanksgiving, babe. How are you? You know, can we, can we, can we, ha can we talk after the turkey? Like they want to talk to you. You know what I mean? Funny enough, that actually happened to me like a few days after I posted that. I was like, is this play about us? <laughs> you know, like what, what's going on? Anyway, so I feel like something really similar could be happening for you guys. Or maybe it's already happened. Someone tried to use the holidays as a way to talk to you. All right. Some kind of a player. Someone's triggered that you're like, that you're unfazed and you're moving on. Yeah. Because you're so unfazed about it. So they're trying to figure out if you ever cared, quote unquote. <laughs> oh my gosh, this person. Um, yeah. And I feel like this person played with your emotions, whether it was a friend or it was, um, you know, a potential lover or even a situationship, right? This person played with your emotions, but now they want to know 
if you still care about them, if you ever cared about them, blah, 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 because you're not chasing after them. Oh my God. Typical, typical, typical. Am I right? They're shocked that you're so unfazed. I feel like they had a lot of people who usually chase after them. Usually be like, you know, what happened? Where are we? Like, why don't you care? And this is not you. Um, low key, especially if you did. Okay, there's a few, there's a few scenarios here. Some of you could have actually kind of like hooked up with this person um, or even shared a kiss. If you did, that low key kind of got them hooked. And so now they're like, wait, um, I think I fumbled. And I want to circle back and see if I can get this again. Now, this is more of a friend, someone that you would not do that with. They're actually more of an in-person. It's all at the bottom of the deck. They're actually trying to get close to you so they can continue to emulate and copy your vibe. Okay? This one says, wants to be like you, acts like, dresses like, looks like you, and copies you. Okay? So that could be the reason why a friend wants to kind of get in close with you again. So they can see where they are in competition with you. So just be careful if anybody wants to kind of like circle back around the holidays. All right. This person may not actually be that happy for you. Um, they may just want to kind of see what you're up to and see if they can get their way back into your life. Actually, Spirit is saying that they've been coming into some bad karma ever since you did leave their life because of the way that they treated you. All right. And spirit is not taking you too kindly to them looking around trying to get dirt on you either. Spirit is saying this person is all triggered because you're not knocking down their door trying to get them back. Meanwhile, they should be focused on moving forward in their own life instead of trying to make sure that you're obsessed with them. Because uh, where do they do that at? Someone call up Mariah Carey. OK, because <laughs> they're the one who's obsessed, honey. Uh, what do we have here? chasing um oh i'm telling you this person is about to come in and chase you so just be careful just be careful because they're really coming in with the same energy okay we have same ish different day they want to come in and offer you something which is going to be really a non-offer you know what i mean they're just trying to see what good they can get because they can see that you're a queen rising okay stepping into power praise coming up and spotlight yeah they can see that the spotlight is on you lately that's why they're tripping on you. See, <laughs> that is why they're tripping on you lately. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this person is holding a grudge. They're holding a grudge that you rejected them. Oh my gosh. It's all, it's right here near the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they feel like they lost their chance with you. They lost their chance and they're confused as to how they even lost their chance because they feel like usually people will chase them. Okay. This car, this person can be getting um, karma in the form of, um, like, you know, financial losses, even broke, because you had broke right here, or even car troubles, okay, they'd be having some car issues, but all the while, they're very curious about you and what you're up to, anyway, that's a little bit about what's happening, let's see if I can get a little bit more about this, what's happening behind the scenes that my viewers need to know, what's happening behind the scenes, leave them alone, yeah, this is someone that you left alone already, What's happening behind the scenes my viewers need to know about? Oh, ooh, interesting. Um, we have, you're my ideal person on the front. And on the back, it says, arm candy, wanting to uplift their social status, shallow and self-centered. This is the real reason why this person wants to come back into your life. Um, if this is a friend, yes, to emulate you, but also to uplift their social status. You guys, you have such an intense, positive energy. That by just being associated with people, you make them look better in the eyes of the public. Okay, I'm, I'm not here to gas you up crazy. I'm just here, like this is society. We live in a society, guys. I'm just saying. It's true. When you're seen with somebody who is really ambitious, you know, really forward thinker, um, really has a lot of direction to their life, people think that you're like that too. Because birds of a feather flock together. When you're around this person, you make them look good. That's just a fact. All right. So, you know, this person kind of wants to come back into your life so they can get that effect again, so they can achieve that effect. I really feel like some of these people kind of thought that they could do better. And then they couldn't. <laughs> and then they couldn't. Yeah. Then we have, is it too late? Oh my gosh. I think it is. Yeah. I think it is because you already have the receipts. It says, know the truth, keep it private, don't cross them. Yeah. This person knows you have receipts on how badly they treated you, but. 
I think there's I think they're still gonna try it, to be honest. Yeah, take mixed signals as a no. Just be careful because this person is gonna try to come in, give you mixed signals again. You know, again, someone that you left behind. And they're gonna come in and be like, oh, I don't know why we're not speaking. Like, you know, why are we not friends anymore? Why are we not close? But the real reason is they, they know the real reason. If this one says, I messed up and now I'm really feeling the consequences. Oh my God, Spirit's talking right now. I'm telling you, <laughs> God is talking. They messed up. They know They know exactly why you two are not close anymore. They know exactly why. But they find you to be tantalizing. You're almost irresistible to them. Again, people can feel your energy right now. Going back to one of the ultra cards, I can feel your energy. I'm thinking about you. Your energy has been so intense lately. It's like a dang beacon. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're like a freaking lighthouse with your great energy, okay? So people from the past are gonna be like, ooh, like what's that over there? It feels really warm. Oh, wow, is that is that the light of the OG's soul? <laughs> oh, wow, I wanna be near that. Like I, I should do um, updated, how does, how does it feel to be near you reading? Because your energy lately, whoo, off the charts. Maybe this could be the next pick a card. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. I'm asking for a lot of interaction today. <laughs> I guess I missed you guys <laughs> over the break. So I'm like, comment this, comment that. <laughs> Let's talk, guys. Anyway, um, this is only a test, okay? So be careful with this person. Don't settle for their wishy-washiness, all right? Because it's only a test. Anyway, I feel like that's enough of the side story. Uh, we, you know, we have to get a nice storyline going and see what else is going on. But let's shift back into what people are saying about you lately. And we're going to kind of wrap things up. Um, I'm going to be using this new deck that I made. It's this new deck. I'm going to call it the You and Them deck. Um, and you'll see why in a second. It has a lot of compliments on it mostly. So, and guys, also <laughs> more interaction. If you want, comment down below like what I should add to this deck because I'm still adding more phrases. You'll see in a minute what the phrases are. So yeah, let's go ahead and see. Um, Divine Source, what are people saying lately? about my youtube viewers what are people saying about my youtube viewers they think you may be too good to be true Ooh, so people are saying yeah you're a little too good to be true you just look so amazing right now they do wonder if you're kind of hiding something because you're too you know too good to be true um you look kind and approachable girl next door vibes you inspire jealousy in others mm -hmm. what are people saying about them lately they see a future with you. So yeah, people are saying that, you know, they see you as the kind of long-term person. If you are dating somebody right now, that's what this person is feeling. They can see a future with you. You have an angelic and ethereal appearance. Ooh, okay, I love that. You have a sexy and toned body. Okay, period. What else? The moment you walk in the room, all eyes are on you. Ooh, Oh, I love that. Some people are saying about you lately. What else are they saying? Divine source. You have a witchy spiritual vibe. Okay. You are very trustworthy. They plan on asking you out very soon. So again, someone plans on asking you out, asking for your number, trying to talk to you again. It could be this person. It could be somebody else. What else do we have? You have a natural allure that turns people on and they are confused about this connection. So you have someone who's confused about how you feel about them. That's what I'm picking up on. Someone could be confused about how you feel about them. I don't know why, but I'm getting a coworker. Some of you guys have an office romance going. <laughs> this person is like, do they like me or not? Um, that's interesting. Bottom of the deck is the way you walk is very sexy. Okay, overall energy. <laughs> the way you walk is very sexy. What else do we have here? Now let's use my multicolor cards. More phrases on this one. What is the gossip about my YouTube viewers? Thank you, Source. Your love has leveled me up. Yeah, wow. So people are saying that, again, just being seen with you is level up. Just being loved by you. Because you're because your energy is so uplifting. All right? I'm also picking up that family and friends feel this way about you too. It's not just romantic. Just being, you know, just being cared for by you, being loved by you, it inspires people. It really does. I'm frustrated with your boundaries coming up here. Okay, interesting. Yeah, some people are frustrated with your boundaries. Makes sense. 
You are a great friend. People love being around you. An unexpected blessing is about to arrive. That's more of a prediction I'm picking up on. But people could also feel like, again, your money is about to double since that came up earlier. A neighbor could feel this way about you. Your neighbors could be seeing your glow up, people that you're around often. I can't figure you out. You're an enigma. That's interesting. Okay. I feel so lucky just to be close to you. Ooh, okay. I like that. What else do we have here? Lovely hair. People talk about your lovely hair. Some of you guys can be growing out your hair a lot or you can do something different with your hair. People like it. Pouty lips. People like your pouty lips. What else do we have here? Hot bum. Whoa. Okay, guys. Nice bum. What else? A friend can feel this way about you. A friend can feel like they can't figure you out or a friend can feel like you have a really hot body, to be honest. You're so fun to have around life of the party. Okay. I pursue and then ditch. I dislike attention. Okay. This is more about that person from before. So again, just be careful with this, with this person if they choose to come back into your life because they're going to try to pursue you and then ditch you. Our connection has improved my confidence and self image. This is why some people even try to just like pursue you and then ditch you. It's almost like a, a hit of dopamine. You know what I mean? Being, getting your attention it improves people's confidence and self-image, whether they're here for a short time or a long time. You know what I mean? Some people will try to use that um, as like, you know, almost a drug, which is not okay. And some people are actually trying to have a reciprocal connection with you. So just be aware. Um, ooh, the top one here. Sorry, the teasers are so dark. <laughs> you can't really see, but it says, you're so fine. When you walk in the room, they can't stop staring. Yeah. Wow. Okay, what else do we have here? I'm secretly so attracted to you. You're so sexy. Flirting skills. You have great flirting skills. Big booty. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, I see you. Who's squatting? Who's someone squatting here? Full package. Yeah, you're the full package, really, though. You are the full package. And what else? Gorgeous eyes. We got eyes twice. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I would go a little longer, but I'm just a little stiffly today. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this reading. Um, I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Obviously, comment down below if it resonated with you. I would love to talk to you guys. I've been missing you over this holiday break. I hope you guys had an amazing holiday if you do celebrate. Um, what else do I want to say? Oh, I also have a TikTok. If you want to check me out over there, Lunar Light Tarot, the same handle. And I have a website, LunarLightTarot.com, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me. It's kind of similar to these, um, but of course, always personalized to you. I love, 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 love talking to my OGs one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, and become an OG today when you click that subscribe button. Usually during my pick and card readings, I have an extra bonus reading for my subscribers. So you don't want to miss out on that. I don't have this for my collectives, of course, but yeah, from picking cards, they're over there. All right. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate you. I'll talk to you in the next one. Love and light. Bye.